Wow. <coughs> Life gets going so busy, friends, doesn't it? What's this? What is that? Looks like a broken cup or something there. It's a piece of a cup or something. Put that over there, hey? Okay? Yeah, let's uh, let's do this. Get all set up here. Okay. This helps me so much, friends. It helps so much. I can't tell you. And it and it literally takes five minutes. It's tough to do exercises it, when you're when your life's busy and and it's tough to do it. But it just it makes so much sense in my brain to do this for a guy who wants to take care of business. Still, he's not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. I gotta stay fit for life. I have to stay fit. I don't have to. I'm gonna choose to. I wanna stay fit. I'm 49, coming up 49 in like a month, right? So I'm just, I, I, I just want to stay fit. That's it. I'm packing extra weight that I'm not used to. My back doesn't like it. I got really thin after my accident. And I just, I, I, I'm not as active as I used to be. And then they told me that would happen to me. They were right. I tried to fight it. I mean, I fight it. I fought it better than most, probably. You know, getting back to work and all that was kind of a a bonus, right? Right. Hey, thanks for popping into the live feed. All my friends in the UK, I love you guys over there. I mean, everybody, but but the UK, to see people from way overseas, I just love it. It's so cool. It is. It warms my heart that you guys are checking in with us over here. It's cool. I really appreciate it. YouTube is amazing. It is. It's freaking amazing that way. Let's see if we can get a couple of these in there. <clears throat> These ones help. They get that back on. Oh, there's a bit of a crack here. This scar tissue in there also makes some pretty strange racket sometimes because they never operate today, friends. They didn't do an operation. They just let the back kind of get a hold of itself, which eh, was a good decision as far as I can see it. Who knows with operation, right? Who knows? They had seen... At, at the at the point when I got nailed, I guess at that stage of technology and this particular injury, they had done enough of of both operating and not operating to see that there wasn't benefits more to either one. So they decided to let it heal on its own. It was quite a process, but um, and what you're left with is like this big, huge clump of, uh, well, you can imagine, right? A vertebrae that gets burst, blows up, right? It blows up. And unfortunately, it was the last one. It was the five, L5, which is where it all kind of takes place. Your sacrum and, ah, it was ugly. It was, it was really bad. So, um, they let it heal and, uh, you know, instead of it looking like this now, a vertebrae, it went and it blew up. Okay, so um, it it just healed on its own into this big mass of clumpness, which creates arthritis and nerve damage. And it's just, it's not pleasant. I'll just tell you, it's not. Um, but better than the alternative, I'll tell you that right now. So I just have to keep my core as strong as possible to hold my back together, friends. Do you understand? Do you know what I mean by that? I have to. I have to. Well, I don't have to do nothing. I'm choosing to. I could choose to lay down. Just lay down and suffer. But no. I got too much to do. I got too much stuff to do, friends. See, we're at five minutes right now. This video just turned to five minutes and I'm almost done. 
Five minutes, friends. The benefits are crazy from this exercise. Crazy. I'm not kidding. It's not a joke. It's Monday. Okay, that's enough. I gotta pump this up a bit. Okay, oh. Now, what's this? What this is? Some broken piece of something or other. Okay, we're off to. Victor's gonna bring the truck out. We got a job out to do out here. Just gonna do a bit of editing. Stuff for you guys. Over and out. Hey, friends. How's everybody? Hey? Well, that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad you're doing good. That's what I say. Because, you know, sometimes it's the way life goes. You, you can sometimes choose to, to think, you know, that maybe, maybe life's done us a wrong turn or something like that or you know why me why why can't i why can't i get ahead or why can't i get the things i want or you know what i mean sometimes we can and that's why i call life kind of a a thinking thing it it it's a it's our thinking you know that gets us kind of perhaps into a funky state of mind. You know, you think you should be doing better. You think you should have this or have that, or you, th you think why, or... I did that. Excuse me, I did that. I did that as a young man. I used to think, what's going on, what, why? Why is my life like this, you know? <laughs> well, perhaps because of your own decisions. It's starting to make sense, you know. No more blame game. Blame keeps you stuck. Hey friends, I'm on this other side. I just realized the file I had was brand new, but it's a certain line of files. They were a gift. And I don't know, something's not right with them. Here's an organ file. You don't need to push hard with a nice file, friends. I mean, the chips are literally, like you can hear it. It's just, it's cutting the steel beautifully. Isn't it? Gorgeous. So again, couple down just to pull some gullet. And there we go. And then just literally nice and soft because this fresh file is just loving it here. And I find with a fresh fall, you don't get that bloody, uh, that big flap of skin. Right, it cuts it off. Look at that, friends. Oh, that's lovely. That's very interesting. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Couple of gullet strokes. Wow, look at that, eh? Amazing. You start sliding through smooth, you know you got something going on, friends. Okay. Front thing about freehand filing, friends, is you can customize your filing. You see something going on with your tooth, you give your tooth a little a little tweak to make up for that little, you know. Like you're not getting the gullet like this with a, you know, with a with a gadget. It's just not happening. Now this is rare. This is my old truck, friends. <laughs> Morning, Victor. Morning, is this? I'm looking for a job. You got you got a job? I'm looking to cut some trees. I'm an independent woman. That's all I know how to do. You got some work, eh? Okay. Okay. Well, the turbo still works. I don't need your the old works. This way, yeah, you know where you're going. Well, we're going to do a little tree trimming today, friends, up the street here. Huh? If it hasn't already been done. Wow, this is looking good. 
Well, just because I said I don't well, here's need our, you. Uh, here's our ordeal, friends. We got to, Here's Victor's new chipper. He's pretty tickled. Really uh, we're going to get this here and, and, and just kind of shape this trio. It, it's been done before, friends. It's just a shaping job. I've done a thousand of these suckers over the years. But I, I, like I say, I, I just... A lot of people take a ton, and and, and uh, most tree guys know the more you cut, the faster it grows, and the more profusively it, it kind of comes back at you. So on these, I try and just take what is needed, you know, like straight straighten this out on the side there, get it, give it a shape. But if you don't take a ton and you give it some shape, it will last longer. Do you know what I mean? It will. It will last longer. So, so that's the program today. And, and then we got another uh, bit of bucket work to do out in Yellow Point. We're hoping to get to that too. So, uh, But we're just gonna get at it. I'm gonna use the trims or the, uh, the gas powered uh, hedge trimmer actually. The big husky one. It works quite good actually. You guys have seen me use it. Not often. So friends, this is what I do on a tree like this. I've done a gazillion of them. Um, what I like to do with a tree like this is take a look at your line there, there, there's a line i mean a tree grows like this so it works in the weather right like this so this particular tree it's been you know it's got its symmetry back but it's been topped it's it's got multi stems in there so we just need to shape it from the outside we're not thinning it never tall it's never going to blow over we need to turn it into a cone basically is how i see this so but but you can screw it up if you go up and, and you take too much up top first. You can end up with an ir irregular shaped tree. So you got to be careful. So here's a before look at it. All right. And then let's get it, let's get it shortened up. Are you... Got the feeling she's coming back. interjection um, I'm a believer in global consciousness I'm a believer that when many people think the same thing that it can have results I just am I know it I've seen it um, Nick Beam awesome man Nick sent me an email the other day I saw a notification come in from PayPal and I looked and it was Nick and he's become committed he's he's become part of our monthly group of people that facilitate this channel that help facilitate my ugly mug on this thing flapping my gums and and he supported the community he's decided to do that nick thank you so much there's been others and i've got a little plan for some people we we got a plan me and decal are putting something together for those folks um friends thank you so much you know who you are and there will be some names flapping around here pretty quick. Back to the story. I don't want to take much time. I want to get you back to this video. Listen, Nick, thank you. I emailed you back and thank you, but thank you so much for, for doing this for us monthly for the community. Listen, Nick has a younger sister. He's been going through. Nick sent me an email after he became part of the monthly group. He said to me, Bucking your spirits keep me going. He says, I'm in a little bit of a rough patch right now with my little sister. She's got cystic fibrosis and she's putting up a heck of a fight right now. Her name's Leah. L-E-A-H. Friends, I want this community to come together and just think of Leah. You know the old story I talk about the sun with the ring around it? Well, Leah's the sun right now and the ring around it is our love and light and the healing powers of the universe to help Leah right now. Let's send her some love, okay? Um, and healing, send healing. Let's put that ring around us as the healing powers of the universe. They can be tapped into. Let's do this for Nick. Nick, thank you, buddy. Okay? Friends, we're going back to the show, but um, 
cystic fibrosis I know nothing about, but I've heard it and it's not good. And she's putting up a hell of a fight, Nick says here. But Nick's been having a rough go with it. That's tough. That's tough on anybody. Let's pray for these folks, Nick and Leah. Okay, friends? All right. Back to the show. Um, love and light for Leah. Leah, if you ever watch this, honey, we love you. All right. Nick, thank you. the devil in me when those crazy low down feelings won't let me be nighttime pleasures bring you morning pain I know I know I know I'm gonna do it As we round the tree, friends, always look over your left shoulder. See, we've got this bottom stuff sitting out quite a bit here, but you can always nip a little bit. It's nice to keep your bottom limbs out far, then you can always work off that line, see? This is coming together quite nice. That's why I leave bottom stuff out far. Then you can work off it. And it gives you your line. Like, here's a nice line here we've got. We've got a very nice line going here. And kind of swing your, your trimmer down like that. Like on an angle, like this, friends. Swing it down like that on an angle. Right? Let's go drop down on this hydro line and get the side of the tree shaped up, friends. Let's do it. When I'm rocking and rolling, it just frees my mind. Get rid of the stress, let the body unwind. All those parties till half past four. When I got home, my lover he. pokers if I wanted to I literally I could go you know what I mean we're talking finicky 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 now but 
it, it's a tree, friends. Again, it's a tree. Trees aren't, they're perfect the way they are. You know what I mean? So anyway, that that turned out quite nice. I'm, I'm quite tickled with it. Um, yeah, very nice. Very nice shape. Uh, it's, it's tough with these sometimes because they get beaten in snow and busted up. And this one didn't get it too bad. It didn't actually get it too bad. This is bugging me a little bit right here. Just this one little spot. I might just fire up this machine real quick here. I was talking about friends was this here I'll show you it was that there and it was just bugging me a little bit so I straightened it out there we go see it lays in a little nicer now you see and there's one more little bugger right there that I should probably get because it's driving me nuts where do you stop right where do you draw the line friends is the question but I see one that has to go that's the nice thing about coming down and taking a look just this one here just just get me just a little bit here so we'll just straighten it out then it won't bug me no more this one <laughs> That's it. Literally, that was it. And it was about three inches of wood. <laughs> Not even, friends. Look, here we come. That was her. A little bit right there. A little right here. Just a touch, friends. I know I'm getting finicky now, but I get like that. You know, perfectionism. They say it's a defect. I don't know. Here, I'm going to give you this, Vic. I got to shake a couple hangers. On the back side friends and it's been hit a bit by snow and we're just gonna literally lighten it up like it, it's you know what I mean you just want to find your line and, and again go for it see the bottom it's a little further out and each time I come up it goes closer to the top of the tree just just try and remember that friends it's key you want the tree to work in the weather so we, we've got this thing pretty licked up here pretty pretty good it's looking really good actually it's gonna look nice when it's done I will know this or I will not leave you see this this is what I'm talking about here friends it, it's <laughs> pretty good I think I should fluff this up a bit here though tighten this up it's a lot of foliage here see it kind of thick here's our line so just just like this a little like this 
That's it. Just tighten it up. There we go. It's coming up nice, friends. We'll go to the crown now. I'll work my way up from here. I'll clean the lines out on the way down. I'll get hangers. This thing's looking pretty pretty shaped up now friends a little bit over here and we're looking good like literally she's done skis look at that a couple of hangers down there just a little shaping here <laughs> that's it to be honest I'll show you what I mean by that. I mean, you, you can you can just see it. You... Here's our hydro. See what I mean, friends? Maybe a little bit right there just to tighten that up. I think I will. Maybe even here. This line looks like it could be tightened a little bit. Maybe not that much, though. <laughs> Just a little bit. Hey Vic, pretty good. Get old Victor on it, tell me what it looks like. Gotta have your set of eyes on the ground. Yeah, that's nice actually, really nice. One more little nip up here and we're done down there now. Right here. That's it. That bucket feels weird. That swing's moving around pretty good. Good. Good, good. Maybe I'm gonna hit that one there coming over the line a bit, friends. See this one? I don't wanna ruin the shape too much. Actually, that's okay. I think that's all right. Yeah, I gotta watch this line. Oh, look at that. It's right over top of the line bent. Let's see if we can straighten this out with this pruner. We might not be able to. I don't think so, friends. We'll try it. Oh, well. We might have to get a power saw in here. I want to get this back from the line here. That's what I'm talking about. Clean the line out a bit, friends, right? See that? There we go. I like it. We got these hydro lines right in this tree. It, it actually, it actually was underneath there. Look at that. That was, look at what it did. It actually bent over top of the line, friends, right there. And it broke the limb. <laughs> this is good now, but I am going to clean it out. I just, I'm going to, I'm going to clean it out. No point in not doing it. I'm right here. <laughs> See friends, so here, here's the part of, 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 of the of the industry that is, is it's like artwork really, it, it is. And I done 
a gazillion trees around this town that I'm darn freaking proud of. The Diodora is one. If you if you if you if you haven't seen it, check it out. It's I think it's called Excited Tree Trimmer or something. It okay, <clears throat> we're gonna show you what this thing looks like now. This Diodora. It's, it's a, I mean, it's, uh, this I'm gonna put you on my head here, and I'm gonna show you what this thing ended up like. Anyway, there's Mr. Tree. I'm gonna go up. I'll show you from the ground, but. Excuse me, looking into the sun's difficult. So here it is, you know. I mean, <laughs> the nice space right there, that jet stream going through there, nice little spots of, of uh, air, you know. I think I should almost grab that one limb right at the source there. I might just do that right at the source or that one. Geez, she turned out pretty nice. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the whole ordeal really happy actually isn't that nice look at the line on it guys and gals women and children see goes from there I know you're looking at that Sun I know that's difficult okay but from right there it just goes right down so that means it works in the weather you see what I mean there's nothing sticking out to catch snow a little bit down there but they're great big solid limbs coming off the tree they're about six or seven inches in diameter I don't like there's a there's a nice big chunk of space here I'm actually gonna do this I'm going to I think grab this limb it does not need to be here it'll put a nice little space in things whoa am I oh I'm maxed out Wow well I'm gonna have to go in here now like this I don't want to bust anything I think I can reach it I can Okay, that was the finishing touch. You'll see what I mean. It'll just add a nice little bit of play. Oh, wait a minute. What's that? I wonder if I could get down in here and grab that actually. I wonder if I could do that. Geez, I'd like to be able to get that. It looks good, it looks good. I might be able to get it. I'm excited about it. It's gonna be a close one, but I want it. I will get it. I think I will. See this little sucker shooting straight up in there? I don't like it. I want a space there. I want a space of light there. And I got it. Guaranteed. Ah, yes, you're mine. Whoa. Okay, we are out of here. That was the finishing touch right there. Okay, now have a look guys and gals, women and children. This is what I'm talking about right here. This is what I'm talking about. See how this is? Oh, I'm excited. Are you still on? You are. Awesome to see you again. <laughs> I'm excited. I have trimmed this tree now. Oh gosh. I think three times. I've been doing tree work for close to 20 years now. And I've done this tree three times, and here it sits. Like, I am, uh, this makes me very happy. Granted, it will need pruning, again, because of the style of pruning we're doing to it. It's a tree that has a lot of foliage in it, the Theodora cedar, multi-stemmed. Uh, this thing looks incredible now. I, I hope you agree, but if you don't, that's okay too, because I am tickled with this thing. And it is lots of curb appeal. It's out on the road here, it looks awesome, so. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put this on the channel. I think this is dandy. Over and out, subscribe in folks if you're enthusiastic about tree work and life in general. It, it's a beautiful Diodora tree and it just is phenomenal, friends. It, it's, it's a specimen. I'll go by again and freshen, do another freshen up on it. Um, but this is the part of the industry that I like. I mean, there it is, friends. I'm looking through the screen right now on the on the four and it just, you know what I mean? It From here, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. My eye goes right there, which is right there, but I, I'm not worried about stuff like that. I, you know what? 
it, 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 I don't want them. I used to get them like an arrow, like an arrowhead, and I stopped doing that. This is this is done. A little bit on the back side, and we're done, friends. This looks like the last video on this battery. So there's that tree behind me, friends. You can probably see it there. So, so there it is. I mean, quite frankly, it's uh, it, it it. I have a theory with these trees. See, there's a natural little hole right there from snow load. You can see it. it. It actually looks crazy on the camera, but it's actually not that bad in, in person. It's not offensive at all, but you can see daylight through it. See it there? But it's in line and it, it actually, friends, it turned out really nice. Like really nice. <laughs> I've done so many of them, friends. You know what I mean? Like the crowns are, you, you just, you leave them like they are. Just leave them up in there like that so i'm i'm quite tickled with the outcome friends to be honest with you but it takes time you know it takes time and you got to be careful not to take too much down below or you I, like i say you get that line it goes messy on you right like here it is from the street and you can see obviously there's a little bit of symmetry change here because of the hydro line is right there the poles there in the line so that's why you've got symmetry change there that's a functional prune and that's fine that's that's no big deal and here i kept it green i wanted to keep it green underneath the the line here this was coming over on their yard pretty good but we, we you know we got to keep it green and there's our line you see from there straight up so it turned out quite nice turned out real nice actually so that's that so now we'll get we'll monitor it over the next couple of years and see actually how much it grows right if you prune them hard they grow hard it's plain and simple look at this beautiful mess across the street <laughs> okay, Victor. Victorious Victor. And with this big old diaper. Where are we putting this thing? In the... Okay. okay. You want to jump up? Yes, I don't like chipping. Hang on. Grab this, Victor, with it, and I'll go underneath it. You grab that, I'll come up underneath. Yeah. One, two, three. Good? Beauty. Okay, yeah, she turned out real nice. There she is, there's our line. It's like a Christmas tree kind of thing. Okay, let's go look at her mess. It's heavy and wet, and you're not doing anybody any favors by topping their trees. I don't care where you are. It just, it, you're not doing any favors for anybody by topping their fir trees in this, in this part of the country. You just, you're not doing any favors. You're creating problems for your, your customers if you're topping their trees. Just remember that, tree topper dudes, okay? I'm a tree topper, okay? Well then go single stem logging. Stay out of the city trees. Stop butchering up city trees. I sound like Blair the Arborist. What's his name, Arborist Blair? What's his name, Victor? Blair, you know who I'm talking about, Blair. If Blair goes on a rant once in a while. What's up Blair's name again? The arborist guy, the older fella? Oh, I can't remember. Blair, <laughs> anyways, Blair, how you doing if you're watching this? I don't know, but I hear you, buddy. I, I mean, I, I hear your, I hear your pains. It, we, we, we see it all the time. It's, it's tree work, buddy, it's what happens. You don't have to be a scientist to cut trees and, and that's unfortunately what happens, you know, but anyway that's that so here's our coned out tree we just finished up you know it's it's out of the weather now it's not going to bust up a little hump right there Evic. a little bit but but it's, it's actually hump. well it's actually not even a hump if you look at it it's uh it, it's where i it's where i gouged it out around the pole oh yeah you see so it sticks out yeah, it sticks it's an out. illusion see look at the yeah. symmetry on it yeah it's nice act yeah see if i had to took that victor i'd have screwed the symmetry from here yeah right it would have pushed that in and That's it would have important view it right is there. look at that that's bang on vic yeah no we're tickled with that okay friends thanks for hanging around on this one we'll catch you on the next one down the road somewhere hi victor hi, Buck. bye bye tree ah good to be in the bucket again